All right, guys, let's get started. I wanna give you a little bit of background information for how you're going to use this course and how you're gonna set up an experiment. So how does idea validation online work? Well, it's a little bit uh, what I call spray and pray. Um, a lot of people think that they have an idea, they think it's fantastic, that's the only thing that they wanna work with and they're gonna roll with it. Um, unfortunately, no matter how many times you've started a business, started a web project or a web product, um, it doesn't really matter. Everyone is equally fallible. Um, everybody thinks their idea is fantastic. That is a problem with being an entrepreneur, being anyone who's trying to launch uh, an intercompany project, anything really out of the box. You get stuck in your own head. You're obviously going to tell yourself that it's better than it really is. You need to test it outside of yourself before you can figure out whether or not it's actually high quality. So it is a problem that I constantly, constantly see. And I'm glad you're taking this course because this is a skill set that it's going to help you your entire life. You can do this with anything as long as it's related to being online or at least has some foot in online. Even if you're launching a mobile application and you only expect to, say, have a landing page that explains what your mobile application is, you can still use these techniques. The only thing that I would say uh, this isn't going to help you with is maybe if you're running a retail store and you don't want to put anything online, period. I think that's a weird circumstance, and I think you should always have um, an online presence or an online strategy, especially in 2015, but to each their own. So the way that we set up these uh, idea validation experiments, and I call them experiments because they work in cycles, um, is that we're first going to come up with a hypothesis. So a hypothesis is quite simple. Um, you are going to formulate uh, in a business idea and mix it with the problem into one sentence. So we could do this uh, very easily with other businesses, ones that are prior established. It's very simple. So anyone who's shopped at, let's say, let's say Costco. You shopped at Costco, what's their hypothesis? I would say their hypothesis is that customers are willing to shop in larger quantities if they can purchase each item at a lower price per unit. That's what they do. They sell everything in bulk, right? When you first heard about it, you probably thought, why would I want to buy uh, 16 different razors? Or why would I want to buy Kraft macaroni and cheese in a 32 box set? Um, so that was their hypothesis. They tested that and they launched with it. What was Facebook's hypothesis? Facebook's hypothesis was that we could create an online social network uh, where people could share their public information and communicate between each other. Um, now, again, remember back in 2004, 2003, if you weren't someone who was on Friendster or MySpace, that might be crazy, right? You might think that privacy is such a huge concern. Why would anyone want to do that? What's the benefit of it? That's why it's a hypothesis. That's why you would take that and you would actually launch with it. So when you're thinking of your hypothesis, we're going to cover this a little bit more in the next section. Um, you just kind of want to boil down what it is your idea is into a sentence. Mm -hmm. 